Here I have a balloon with something else in it. It's not hot air. What do you think it is? Helium. Why do you think it's helium? Well, it's going up to the ceiling, isn't it? What would happen if I'd let it go? It would go up? Would it go up to the ceiling? Let's try it. Uh-oh, what happened? What? The string is weighting it down. Well, I've got the answer to that. We'll cut the string, but I'm going to cut it at a special place. I'm going to cut it where it touches the table. Because if I do that, right about here, I then have a balloon that has a weight on it, and the weight is just enough that the balloon can support it. And so this is what we call an example of neutral buoyancy. Uh, and if I let it go, it will simply drift around in the air currents. Let me do it over here because I think the air currents are flowing that way. And you'll see that maybe it rises, but very, very slowly. And after a little while, some of the helium will, uh, will leak out of the balloon, and then it will settle back down a little bit. And when it does that, you can uh, take out your fingernail clippers, maybe, and cut off about the bottom inch of the, of the string, and it will go back up again. So uh, something that uh, uh, weighs the same as the air that it displaces will do that. And so uh, the air that we removed from the balloon and replaced with helium weighs exactly the same as the balloon plus the helium plus the string. And so that will just float around uh, throughout the lecture, and we can uh, watch that. And it will go wherever the air currents take it, because uh, air moves. And this is one way that uh, we tell how the air is moving. And this, of course, is very important to uh, pilots and people that fly to know which direction uh, the wind is blowing.